I'm gonna start posting my reactions to videos on fucking YouTube now. So I, I actually want to see as someone who does not like how they fucking changed Summoner since Endwalker. I need to know what what the 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 legendary well-known summoner himself thinks about how this is so i i have to know shoulder bahamut yes it is me with a graphical update i am here to talk to you about well th 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 this but first who am i to be talking to you about summoner right well here are my credentials <laughs> as you can see for about a exactly of my he life, he is he is the summoner main bro or every single every single expansion on summoner like n n like of course he plays other stuff but he i i own the even when i first started watching him uh i always saw him on summoner I, even when i watched his guides like outside of those guides it was summoner and so i i have a couple things to say about this first i will introduce to you Endwalker Summoner. Last expansion. Here we go. We're gonna summon Bahamut. This is what Bahamut does, okay? I push this button, and I push Death Flare and Akmor. That's what I do. And then yep. after I summon Bahamut, I get to summon these guys. And these are cool because each one of them is different. In Titan, I have this move where I go slap and clap. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Garuda. It does look pretty and cool. And Garuda, I'm super fast. Watch. Bam, 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 like a machine gun. And then I have this other move that I need to care about where the boss is because I need to make sure that the boss is going to still be standing in it, right? That's super cool. And then we go to Ifrit. Oh, what's this guy about? Well, I got to make sure I can stand still for two GCDs and I got to make sure I can get into the boss range. That's important too. Well, let me take out my new summon that we just got in Dawn Trail. Solar Bahamut. What does he do? I push this button just like Bahamut. I push Death Flare. Oh, sorry. Just Sun like flare. Bahamut. Just like Bahamut. And I push Exodus. Just well, like Bahamut. Cool name is just like Bahamut. Just like fucking it's Bahamut. the same thing. And they're in... Nothing the changed! Battle. Right, so that, it was neat. I mean, he looked cool, but now I get to go into the fun part. This is the fun part. Where I'm cycling through three different summons here, and each one of them is cool. Each one of them makes me do a different thing. But now I got to finish this and go, oh, who's next, right? Who, who, who's coming up next? You know, I'm a summoner. I have a whole reservoir of summons to summon now. And so the next one is Phoenix. Oh, look at how cool. What, what do I do? Oh, I push this button. And then I push this button just like, just like Bahamut and Solar Bahamut. It's Bahamid. just but then I not keep this one. fun. Personally, I would like to say I enjoyed Endwalker Summoner. Well, it was simpler than the previous eight plus years of summer that I was used to, mm -hmm. you know, the, the piano job. It was cool. It was varied. And I didn't have to think too much, but I felt like I was doing stuff. But with this guy, while he is freaking cool, I mean, it's Bahamut. It's just like, and I also get it because cause I, I don't think Larry went into like the ultimates for Endwalker either. I, I know he went into a couple savage fights. I don't know how many. Uh, I, I think he cleared the first two tiers at least, if I remember correctly. But holy shit, it's just it's just the fact that no matter what content you're, no matter like what you're doing, even in ultimate, summoner is literally just a face roll. Even if it's like, oh yeah, the summons are different, like they, they they cycle differently, all this stuff. It's just the same thing, and you could say that with like, you could say that technically with any job, right? Once you do a fight. And also yes on Sug because they made it they made it a lot more simple. And Shadowbringers before like and before Shadowbringers Summoner was not as simple. It like nowhere near as simple. And that's the thing. Um, once you make something more simple but it has something flashy, people are going to like it. And that's not a dig at the casual things. It's just like once people see that something is hard, they they're they have a, a fear to try and approach it. So certain jobs like Black Mage and Summoner got changed. Um, summoner got changed to this, which is a lot more simple, but you still have the flashiness of it. You don't have the, you don't have the variety. You don't have like the, the abundance of things that you could probably do in a, a bunch of different scenarios with summoner as you did before. And it's kind of disappointing because at first when I saw it, right, I'm like, oh, okay, you're going to have to decide in which fights, da, 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 which is, which is going to be better. Like which summon's going to be better to use at these moments. Right. And no. It's just, 
it's just simply it's just simply you face roll it you do the exact same thing all the time order does not matter um nothing matters you press whatever you want to press you know i usually do titan garuda ifrit right you don't have to do that you can do ifrit first you can do titan second you can do garuda last and it does it would not matter it genuinely would not matter. You just press the buttons as they light up. And and well, I think one of the things that I've been trying to form in my mind that I, I haven't said is here's the thing, right? Phoenix, Bahamut, and Solar Bahamut literally feel the exact same. We've talked about how F Solar Bahamut is literally just Phoenix and Bahamut fused because it has a heal and it has it just has higher potency. It, it gets a party-wide heal and it has 100 higher like 100 potency higher than Bahamut's attacks. It is literally Bahamut and Phoenix fused. It is just disappointing. I don't understand. Here's and then that, that, they did the same thing with Black Mage apparently because Black Mage they said Black Mage was hard to learn, quote unquote, right? Black Mage was not hard to learn. Black Mage was hard to uh, master in certain fights the movement where to place your ley lines where to stand so you don't get hit your slide casting that's what made black mage fun now it, it, the learning process of black mage was not hard it was literally fire three fire four fire four fire four go into despair go into ice get your mana back go back into fire fire four fire four rinse repeat just don't drop your stuff it was not a hard to learn class. It was a hard to master in actual content because you you practice on the dummy, right? You practice your rotation on the dummy, and then you go take that into content, and you're like, "Whoa, I got to do a lot more movement than usual." Holy shit! Like it, it's not just easy. It's not just I got to stand here. This isn't like I'm fucking melee or another caster that has like faster like insta cast like summoner or faster things, faster like like double cast like red mage. It isn't that easy. But that also doesn't mean it's exactly hard. The mo the hardest you will see Black Mage be is in a setting where you optimize it for speed killing, in my opinion. Or parsing. If you're not doing that, if you're just trying to clear content, clear fights, Black Mage is not something that's going to be that crazy. Just just literally learn the class. Now, anyway, let's continue before I keep yapping. So it's like, come on, this is the coolest thing ever. It's just and I and just yeah, like you said, the, the the design for Solar Bahamut is fucking cool. It's fucking badass, right? But why did we get Bahamut again? Why not something else? Why not something new? That in therein lies the problem. Is why has it been? We've gotten Phoenix, but Phoenix is the same as Bahamut, and we've now gotten Solar Bahamut, but that's literally it got a heal like Phoenix, and it's the same as Bahamut. There's nothing different nothing changed here. exactly Not just that the button is the same because obviously with these summons the button is the same too but the button changes what it does back when endwalker summoner came out i was like woohoo look i get to summon all these guys mm -hmm. this is the first expansion that summoner isn't different at all exactly you know, exactly okay i will even i will even give it that right endwalker at least it was something new it was different right they literally changed nothing there is no the rotation's the same you just swap out bahamut for for solar bahamut in the beginning it's the same thing nothing changed i had no expectations for what they were going to add for this class right and then nothing changed out of everything dancer changed more than fucking dancer changed more than summoner and it got two moves dancer changed more than fucking summoner dude <laughs> that is that is crazy you gave you gave us a whole ass new summon and it's the same thing. That's insane. And are completely changing every single time, and now we get an expansion where it literally doesn't change one bit. I have one new button. What was it? What is it? Bam! Yay! That's searing flash. Oh, cool. I'm sorry. I do have another new one. Let me get to him though. Hold on. I gotta get through my four minute rotation. Yeah, you gotta get now, you know, now through oh, your. your... I'll, I'll see you in, a, in like three minutes. <laughs> okay, here I am. So I summon him, right? Don't worry, guys. There's, there's one more ability I, I forgot about. My bad. With this guy. 
Lux Solaris. Lux Solaris. It's what? a party wide heal. Just like the Phoenix heal from cool. I it and I forgot to oh push it. God. I really don't care. <laughs> it doesn't really. It didn't really do much. Now did it? And don't get me started on Fester. Oh I man. Am so sad. It's so Look fucking this. pathetic. Watch this. Where's the ding? The Oh, they removed the ding! Holy shit, I played so little with it that I just realized it doesn't have the fucking ding anymore. Wow. That's so fucked. That's actually so fucked. They, th this job is cooked. You know, I made a poll in, in one of my friends. It has no ding. Okay, hold up. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. So, let me, let me go into... Um, a fight real quick. Let me let me get this. All right. Let me go to my fucking house real quick. So, uh, let's just do this real quick. Unrestricted level sync. Gotta go to 80 or 90, right? Gotta go to 90, I think. Yeah, let's go to 90. Okay. Um, I guess we could just go something below 90, right? We don't want to kill it too fast, though. We'll go to... We'll go to this. This is a perfect one. We can go to... Alright, so... Endwalker... Endwalker, or, like, Fester. Fester is, uh, was level, level nine, uh, the, what you would get from Energy Drain on Summoner before they changed it to whatever this shit is called, um, Necrotize. Now, with Fester, when you used it, hold on, let me let them talk. When you used it, you would hear a ding. Mm-hmm, you hear that ding? That's gone now. They removed the fucking ding. The ding is gone. They removed it. Now. You don't you don't even have something that sounds as satisfying to do now with this either. Necrotize does not sound that satisfying to use. Now now we have that. That's what we have. Job's cooked, man. Job job is just fucking cooked. Job is simply cooked. The, the fester ding. It's go It's gone. It's been oh, like we, that we, we for fucking okay. nine years. Look at me. That's cool. This is a very neat animation. I appreciate that. You know, the the fester over here? That it looks, looks cool. Neat. But but it where's the sound, ding? It's a downgrade. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe no, you're I'm, not, man. Uh, this you're is not. silly to be uh, caring about. But I really do. I miss the ding when I'm in a raid or when I'm in a dungeon. Dude, this shit was peak during this, your two I don't minutes. I don't even see it anymore. Like it, like it, it's just something else that I'm doing in between all the other big flashes, and it kind of just gets lost in the mix. Necrotize can't possibly compete, right? Of course, I'm not asking it to. But that's what Fester was great for. It had a ding. So yeah, like with the Fester upgrade to Necrotize, honestly, I feel like it. I lost something. I okay. I, I queued into a guild has to show you. The ding that's is so peak. Good. Ding. Now what about this? Okay. So searing light. This is cool. You know, a, a bunch of jobs got these kind of things where their raid AOE buff now gives them a new move. This is neat. And again, that looks really cool. The sound is really neat. Like I love that, right? It's a cool big AOE. It's not even the fact that like the animation, just the fact that it's once every 2 minutes. So exactly. it really doesn't really change much about what exactly. I Exactly. I think to kind of illustrate the bit of disappointment that I'm feeling here is to have to put you in my shoes and, and my mindset of when I saw this. So picture, I am sleeping <laughs> on a sunny weekday morning. And then Eva wakes me up and she goes, Larry, 
there's a new summoner thing. You gotta see it. And I was like, oh, I, I jump out of bed. Like, I just jump out of bed, run over to the living room. Like, okay, we got it. We can put it on the TV. I got to see it on the big screen. We put it on the TV and then we get to this. I'm like, oh boy, it's summoner. Okay, what, what? Okay, let's look at the gauge. Okay. Um, well, it's just, it's Phoenix. What is that gauge? Right? So this is what I was thinking. I'm like, what is that? Who is that? That's First not thought, Bahamut. And Odin. meanwhile, I'm looking at what's going on here. I'm like, okay, you know, these three summons, it's the same I thing. can't believe That's they showed fine. us the exact cool same that. shit that we, we already have, to the big moment. I'm like, That's okay, how you know. Here we go. And I'm like, holy shit, it's like Neo Mecha Bahamut with swords? This is so cool! Right? But, sweet summer child, it looks cool, but it's the same thing. I don't do anything different. I think a lot of people were upset that these three don't change. You know, when you go from between Bahamut and Phoenix. Yeah, I think a lot they could have also thinking, instead of Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, you'd get Leviathan, Shiva. They, they could have done that. I think that was a lot to hope for. Getting three new ones. Okay, no, they, okay, three new ones. Three new ones is crazy. I had no expectations for that. But they could have also just upgraded the summons to be like the Eden versions. Like, Eden Titan, Eden Garuda, Eden Ifrit. They could have done that. And they did it. It was right there. It was right there, bro. And they, they could have done that. And they just decided to not do it. Could have had a move. Could have had a move where, like... Oh, my God. They could have made the fucking gap closer where you do Eden Ifrit's fucking kick. That would have been sick. That'd be a big deal. So I was completely on. Or like the second part of the gap summit. closer. And then you know. Some oh other no! Were like, oh, it could be. It like, would be oh. the the punch and then the kick. Oh, that'd be so fucking tight. Yeah. Yes, that would be really cool. But thematically, Solar Bahamut makes complete sense. What is this? What what is that? Uh, the sigil going on there, huh? That's Heidelin. It's Heidelin. Solar Bahamut is basically summon Heidelin. But we couldn't do that now, could we? We couldn't just allow summoners to go around summoning Heidelin. You'd have a young sprout just meeting Heidelin crystal for the first time and you're like, ah, I am the warrior of light, I have the crystal. And then you just see a bunch of summoners going, summon, summon Heidelin, use Exodus. And then they just see Heidelins everywhere. Like that would that would kind of ruin things, huh? You really don't want to see Heidelin. And what are the devs thinking? They're going, wow, you got to level 100. We got to make sure the level 100 ability is like the coolest thing ever for every job. That's why all these jobs got like orbital nuke laser beams. So what did we give summoner? Well, you have to give them the most powerful summon possible. And what is that? Heidelin. This is the closest we could possibly get to summoning Heidelin. I mean, you so saying go. that but just makes it feel more painful. And how he looks and the design and all that. I'm on board. I love it. And that is the thing alone that is allowing me to like keep enjoying this job, right? But I'm still feeling the two years of Endwalker and getting absolutely nothing new playstyle wise and needing to go, oh no. We have another two years of this. <laughs> I was really hoping that we would expand upon it. You know, we had such a great base for a job. So th these changes were so good. It basically got the stage ready to add to that it. Was the only, see, that was the only... See, that was the only thing I had hope for through Endwalker. But even when Dontro came, like, I just kind of gave up on Summoner. Summoner when they didn't get another complete rework. Hey, and we don't want a complete rework, OMG. We want more. They had a base. Like Larry just said... What I was hoping for at the beginning, once I started to realize how I felt about Summoner, bro, they have a base for this shit. They have a new, they have a completely new fucking slate that they can work with, with Summoner and do some shit. And they just kind of didn't do, they, they just like, they just kind of like added a couple freaking paintbrush strokes to the canvas and just called it a fucking day and now that larry's talking about this whole heidelin thing with the summon like it's making me think like yeah that's probably the idea that they had a a, a heidelin like maybe version of of bahamut a heidelinized version of bahamut maybe that's what they were going for 
And when I think about it like that, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. The design is cool. The concept is cool. But guess what? It's just still disappointing that they basically did fucking nothing with this job. They basically did nothing. It's still disappointing. Complex. I don't want a complete you know, rework. Think, Summoner's not going back to how it used to boring. be. You have to add a little bit, just a bit. And you know, I think that they're approaching the Summoner design like this. I think what they're doing is saying we need to have an approachable job for players that don't want too much complexity and they just want to play the game and have fun. Play Red right? Mage! And that's fine. I think that's great. It's a good idea. Red to Mage have is fun like and it's that. not hard Summoner, to think about. I think is that. But you can do that and still have a little bit of complexity True. for the ones that want to optimize. It doesn't need much more. It just needs like one more thing to watch. Dare I say, a dot? Do dare I even mention? I'll bring back dots. Dot on Summoner. Yeah, I, I I don't really know. I'm not gonna. No, that's never coming back. To say that I know how to fix this and how to make it better. I think we don't need to touch Bahamut. Have you slept? This yes. is the original, right? I swear, dude, I'm here, awake have... whenever Ari and you're just like, have you slept? Sammy, have you slept? Summoner players when they want the most boring gameplay ever in pressing dots. Man, shut the fuck up, OMG. Don't you? Haven't you been playing fucking White Mage and Machinist all these years? Oh, man. Glare. Glare. I don't want to freaking hear it. Exactly. Ari gets it. And then you're like, oh my gosh. Look. Oh my God. Machinist hypercharge. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Machinist was fun. But I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Dots is not bore. Dots is not boring. You're capping. All right. Anyways. Having Death Flare and Ockborn and the Astral Impulses, this is good. I think we just need to focus on making the three Demi Summons feel a little bit different, just like how these guys feel different, even though you're pushing the same button. And then maybe during Solar Bahamut... Harry, my sleep schedule is just faster. Fucked. Like that alone, that would do it. That would make Dots is not boring better. at all. It's something to keep track of. And maybe like Sun Flare is a shorter cooldown, so you just have like a, a super fast. It's another thing to manage, bam, and bam, I love bam, bam. management. And in between, you're weaving the Sun Flares in between your, your main attack. And then finally for Phoenix, we already had a solution before. You just do this, you alternate. It could be Fountain of Fire into Brand of Purgatory. Yeah, why the like fuck did they stop it? Be in Stormblood. See? So like not even adding any new moves, just changing what they do. Just changing how they feel. I forgot That's about that because you... I digress. Uh, I really don't think we can expect these types of changes. Nope. We so, can't. Ultimately, I am okay with where Summoner is right now. I still play it. I Larry, listen, it. it's I okay. Just fun be honest, man. We know. But you know what? You're in pain. I am a little disappointed. You give me back my fester ding. Come on, man. But that just means, you know, surely uh, th this is a good framework. <laughs> to build upon for Summoner in 8.0. Yeah! Okay, I, I've literally been talking all day. The sun has gone down, and I'm getting into the wee hours of the morning here, rambling on about Summoner. But you know what? Playing Summoner has always meant dealing with dumb job design <laughs> and still enjoying it because you just like summoning things. And so, oh, man, once dude. more into the fray, my friends. Though, hey, I have been playing Machinist, and it is pretty cool. <laughs> At least you have that saving grace. There you go. Because Machinist is pretty fucking tight. Machinist is pretty tight, this x -Pack. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, very disappointed with how Summoner is right now. Uh, much like Larry. Larry actually opened my eyes to a lot more things that disappoint me even about the job, but also a lot more reasons to look at it and go like, oh, um, okay, I understand. Like, like it was pretty, it was pretty, like, whatever I would say Summoner is the easiest job, like, I wouldn't say it directly, but I'd, like, or say what, it, what I mean when I'm saying this next thing. I mean, like, this is definitely the beginner job. Like, Especially for casters. Casters, you want to learn a caster and a fizz range at the same time you play summoner. Th this shit is a caster and a fizz range at the same time, bro. I don't know, man.
Could do my tanks before I do my magic classes, to be honest, since I can't do the magic OC I have. Yet. God, it's. I still have two classes uh, to go before I start leveling casting DPS. I want to start Red Mage soon. I'm gonna. I'm almost done with melee. I'm about to have my first Fizz range done. Oh shit! I'm still recording. Tee -hee.